Hello, welcome back to IT Security Labs. Today I'm very excited to tell you guys that I'm going for my CISSP certification. In this video, I'll be telling you why I decided to go for the CISSP certification. And also I will share with you my 16 week plan that I'm following to get certified. So if this is something that you're interested in to hearing about, make sure to stick until the end because I do uh, share with you a detailed plan that I'm actually following. And also I'll be giving you guys a weekly update on my progress. So every week expect a video from me on a Monday and I'll be telling you about my studying plan, whether I've achieved my goals and if I had run into any issues, I'll be giving you guys weekly updates. So without wasting time, let's start with the fact that uh, what is the CISSP? The CISSP is the Certified Information Systems Security Professional. This is the exam that uh, a lot of people recommend if you go on most job boards like uh, Indeed.com or DICE or any other job boards, you notice that a lot of security jobs require this certification. And it's a certification that might result in a lot of people making a lot of money in IT security. So before I dive into my process of uh, how I'm going to study for this exam, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have about seven years of IT experience. I have uh, worked in different environments, mostly small to medium companies, where I was the network administrator or infrastructure admin. And security has always been part of my job. We never had a security analyst or a security administrator. I've always maintained the security of the company. So I've done security work over the past, say, six years. And one of the reasons why I'm taking this exam is because I realized that uh, from reading about it, not only is it well respected in the industry, but I'm going to learn a lot about uh, IT security in general. I'm going to learn a lot about processes. I'm going to learn a lot about uh, hopefully the kill chain. I've already passed the CCNA security exams, so I know about securing Cisco infrastructures. I've already passed the CCNA cyber operation exam, so I know how a SOC works, like a security operation center. And in addition to that, Moping through uh, the CISSP, I'll be able to get the bigger picture. A lot of people have said this exam is too broad. It's a lot of information to uh, cover, which I'm looking forward to. And also, it's a lot of things to learn. So, from uh, my CISSP uh, journey over the next 16 weeks, I'm looking forward to learning a lot about IT security. I already deal with auditors and insurance people, uh, cyber insurance people who come and ask about our security plans and all that stuff. So that's something that I'm hoping that I can learn from uh, the CISSP is uh, what is the methodologies and uh, you know all the good stuff. I think I know a little bit about uh, what this certification covers, but I cannot wait actually to uh, read more into it and also understand a little bit about it. And uh, in addition to that, the CISSP, uh, if you look around, it does uh, result in better career opportunities, which I'll be honest, that's also something that I look forward to. I'm still young and I hope that I have a better future in IT in general, especially in cybersecurity. So the CISSP, hopefully, after getting it, will be able to propel me to that uh, point where I want to end up in my career. And so what's my study plan? So on Reddit, I found a 16-week program on the subreddit, the uh, CISSP subreddit. There is a uh, plan that someone uh, put together. I cannot remember their uh, Reddit username right now, but I'll put it in the description. It's wonderful. This is how I've always done it. I always come up with a plan. I give myself a timeline, give myself deadlines, and I do it. And on the Reddit, uh, subreddit for CISSP, there is a path where people can spend 16 weeks with a few topics broken down every week and you can study and you can spend the last two weeks uh, prepping and also just uh, practicing. I really like that. So I'll have it in the description 
a link to, in the description just to give them credit and also in case someone else out there is also interested i highly suggest uh, subscribing to the subreddit every week you do see people post things saying they just passed and it's so inspiring and i'll be posting weekly updates on my channel about my progress what i'm working on and also if i have achieved the goals that i've set up every week and i'm hoping that will be inspirational to other people who might uh, have thought about the CISSP but also above all I just want your feedback if I if there's any resources that I need or might need to use I hope that you'll be able to share those with me for now I'll be using my uh, IC squared official study guide that you're looking at right here and I'm also going to be using the official practice test uh, book both of these came up as a kit from Amazon for $60, which is not a lot. So that's really great. And I'll be using this. And in addition to that, I'll be using Pluralsight. Pluralsight is a platform where a lot of IT people go to learn. And I've been using Pluralsight for my CCNAs, CCNP. It's wonderful. So I'll be using Pluralsight, these books, and in addition to that, there is a course for CISSP that's free on Cybrary. So I'll be using that as well. Between these three resources, I think that I'll be very prepared for the exam. I intend to take on the practice test, and I might use some online practice tests as well right before the exam. So I'll be keeping you guys uh, updated on that. So. I'm hoping that this will be a fun process. I have already started reading the books. It's wonderful. This is out of my uh, comfort zone. I'm used to CCNA and CCNP where at least part of the exam involved me actually doing stuff. I like to lab, which is why I have this channel, IT Security Labs. I like to do things hands-on. That's how I learn. But this is more of a material that I have to memorize and understand and also know. So that's going to be a little challenging because memorizing a lot of information is not something that I do. I like to actually do hands-on stuff. So without wasting time, guys, that's my plan. And if you have any suggestion, comments, or any ideas of how best I can go about this, this is my first week. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, expect a weekly update for me and I'll keep making lab videos as well. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next video.